Hi all, hope all you are fine. In this video, we are going to see the relationship between group velocity, phase velocity and particle velocity. In one of the video in quantum mechanics, we have studied this relationship of group velocity equal to particle velocity and another one is group velocity to phase velocity is equal to c square where c is the speed of the light. But in that video, we have not considered relativistic effect. In this video, we are going to see the same relationship by considering the relativistic effect also. While studying the subatomic particles, for example, electron, we are using the quantum mechanics. In such a small particles, usual classical mechanics equations are not valid there. So, uh, when such a particle is moving, that is having a wave nature. That we have seen in the de Broglie hypothesis. That is, a moving particle is associated with a wave nature also. And we have seen that uh, the moving particle that is uh, not associated with a single wave, uh, that is a resultant of a group of waves of slightly different frequencies. So, when uh, a group of waves of slightly different frequencies uh, are moving together, that is producing a resultant pattern. That pattern is known as the wave packet. The envelope of this wave packet, uh, that is the group of waves, that together is moving with a velocity. That velocity is known as the group velocity. So, here the group velocity is denoting by the black ink, that is the velocity of the envelope of this wave packet. Whereas, each single wave that is moving with a, a particular velocity, that is having a particular phase, that velocity is known as the phase velocity. So, the phase velocity is the velocity of each single wave and that relationship is omega by k, where omega is the angular frequency, k is the propagation constant. Whereas, the group of waves that is moving with a velocity, that velocity is the group of velocity vg, that is equal to d omega by dk. In one of the video, we have derived these two uh, equations. So, when a particle is moving with a velocity v that is equivalent to a wave packet, this wave packet is related with the two velocity. One is group velocity vg that is the velocity with which the entire wave packet that is a group of wave is moving and another one is a phase velocity vp that is the velocity of each single wave. This phase velocity and the group velocity is closely related with the two important terms that is omega and k. Omega is angular frequency, k is the propagation constant or wave vector. This omega and k is uh, closely related with the two important physical quantity. One is energy and another one is the momentum. How it is related? Energy E is equal to h cross omega and momentum P is equal to h cross k. How this relation E equal to H cross omega comes, that's from the Planck's equation E is equal to H nu. Nu is the frequency that is related with angular frequency by the relation omega equal to 2 pi nu. So, this H into nu is omega by 2 pi. This H pi 2 pi, that is Planck's constant divided by 2 pi, that we are denoting as H cross, that is known as reduced Planck's constant. So, E is equal to H cross omega. The another relation is P is equal to H cross K. That comes from the de Broglie equation. That is P is equal to H by lambda. This lambda is related with the propagation constant K by the relation K equal to 2 pi by lambda. So, this is H divided by lambda is uh, 2 pi divided by K. So, that is H by H K by 2 pi or H by 2 pi is reduced by this constant H cross into k. So, p equal to h cross k. So, these are two equations are very important in quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, we are dealing with very small particles. So, small particles can move with a very high speed. If the speed of an object or a particle that is comparable with the speed of the light, we have to consider the relativistic effect there. So, in that case, the energy of the particle, we can write by the famous Einstein's mass energy relation that is E is equal to mc square, where m is the relativistic mass. How this relativistic mass is related with the actual rest mass? That is by our equation m is equal to gamma m0, where m0 is known as the rest mass and this m is relativistic mass. That is the relativistic mass is varying with a term gamma. This gamma is 1 by root of 1 minus v square by c square. Where v is the speed of the particle. m0 is the rest mass. m is the relativistic mass. And the momentum of the particle p is equal to mass into velocity. 
this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Now what is group velocity? Group velocity is equal to d omega by dk. In this group velocity expression, omega and k that is closely related with the terms energy and momentum respectively, that can be vary with the speed of the particle v in the group velocity expression. So we can write this d omega by dk using chain rule as d omega by dv into dv by dk. This is equation number 3. Now we can separately find out the d omega by dv and the dv by dk and we can uh, find out the relationship between the uh, group velocity and particle velocity. So first we can consider the term d omega by dv. Using equation 1, this d omega by dv is equal to d by dv of omega is mc square divided by h cross. That is d by dv of this m is 1 by root of 1 minus v square by c square into m0 here c square by h cross. Here this m0 c square by h cross is constant so that we can take outside. So m0 c square by h cross. Now the remaining term is d by dv of 1 by root of 1 minus v square by c square. When it comes in the numerator that is 1 minus v square by c square raised to minus 1 by 2. So the derivative of that is minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus v square by c square raised to minus 3 by 2 into derivative of this minus v square by c square that is minus 2v by c square. So the terms this 2 and 2 will cancel then this c square and c square will cancel. So this d omega by dv becomes m0 by h cross into 1 minus v square by c square all raised to minus 3 by 2 into v. This is equation number 4. Similarly, we can find out that dv by dk or we can find out dk by dv. For that, we can use equation number 2. Using equation 2, this dk by dv is equal to d by dv of k is m v by h cross. Here k is equal to m v by h cross. m we can write as 1 by root of 1 minus v square by c square into m 0 into v by h cross. So we have to find out the variation of this term with the velocity. So here which terms are constant? m0 by h cross is constant. Then we have to find out d by dv of v by root of 1 minus v square by c square. For that we can use the quotient rule. That is denominator into derivative of the numerator that is here v derivative that is 1 minus numerator v into derivative of the denominator that is this root term that is 1 by 2 root of 1 minus v square by c square into minus 2 v by c square divided by denominator square that is 1 minus v square by c square. So here this 2 and 2 will cancel then we can take the LCM uh, as this root of 1 minus v square by c square. So we will get here as m0 by h cross into 1 my root of 1 minus v square by c square into root of 1 minus v square by c square is 1 minus v square by c square. Here this minus and minus become plus v square by c square divided by 1 minus v square by c square. And that will join with the, this LCM root of 1 minus v square by c square. Then it become 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2. This minus v square by c square and plus v square by c square will cancel. And we will get this dk by dv as m0 by h cross into 1 minus v square by c square all raised to minus 3 by 2. This is equation number 5. This equation number 4 and 5 we can substitute in equation number 3. We will get to the expression for group velocity. Equation 3 becomes group velocity Vg is equal to d omega by dv into dv by dk. Or we can write it as d omega by dv divided by dk by dv. That is equal to d omega by dv from equation 4 is m0 by h cross 
वन माइनस बी स्क्वायर बाय सी स्क्वायर ऑल रेस्ट टू माइनस थ्री बाय टू इनटू बी डिवाइडेड बाय दिस डी के बाय डी बी फ्रॉम इक्वेशन फाइव इस एम सी रो बाय एच क्रॉस इनटू वन माइनस बी स्क्वायर बाय सी स्क्वायर सो दिस रेस्ट टू माइनस थ्री बाय टू सो दिस टर्म्स विल कैंसल इच अदर वी विल गेट दिस group velocity is equal to particle velocity and again on dividing this equation number 1 and 2 okay that is equation 1 divided by 2 what we are getting omega by k is equal to is equal to c square divided by v what is this omega by k omega by k is the phase velocity Phase velocity v p is equal to c square divided by this v. V is the particle velocity. Now we have seen that this particle velocity is equal to group velocity, so we can write it as c square by v g. Or on cross multiplying, what we are getting v g v p. is equal to c square so this is the relationship between group velocity and phase velocity group velocity into phase velocity is equal to c square and group velocity is equal to particle velocity